The following program is brought to you by Caltech. I think this uh, wonderful, wonderful meeting has gone on long enough. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I don't want to uh, prolong it unnecessarily. Uh, we've covered a vast number of important topics, and they've been covered exceedingly well by all the speakers. I'm delighted with the, uh, with the whole occasion. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Quark, and uh, the various interpretations of that. People uh, have various ideas of what they mean by quarks. And uh, perhaps we should have a whole meeting devoted to these various possibilities. But uh, instead, I think we ought to uh, say goodbye. One thing, though, that we might do before closing is to specify which kind of quark we're talking about. There are variants of the quark idea. The particular variant that uh, I would like to be associated with, and which turned out to be correct, involves, as uh, Harold Fridge and others explained here, perfect conservation of color, perfect confinement of color, effective uh, color charge, asymptotic freedom, and the corresponding infrared slavery. <laughs> so the effective color charge at long distance and the effective color charge at short distance. All of these are not just uh, approximate notions. They're real principles, real principles, and as far as we know, they're exactly right. So when we think of quarks, we should think I'm not of some approximate, rough, uh, quark model, although you can do that too if you want. But the best is to think of these principles, exactly correct principles, as far as we're aware. They're all uh, connected with QCD, quantum chromodynamics, which has effective color charges going to infinity or to zero at short distances or long distances, respectively. So we have this set of principles, including QCD, including long and short distances, including perfect conservation, perfect confinement, and so on. And I think that's a better uh, 
a better thing to take with us than some kind of model. It's not just a model. I'd like to emphasize that, but apart from that, I think most of the topics have been covered very well and very thoroughly by our speakers, whom I would like to thank profusely for doing such an amazingly good job at this, uh, at this session. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here, for contributing so much to these discussions and to the evolution of these ideas. Working with all of you has been an enormous pleasure, a great honor, and an amazing human experience. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.